as you can see behind me, a high value machine, high value component, and high value tooling. So you want to make sure you get complete process stability. So you need the software to go with it. Christoph, WFL have developed iControl. Can you tell me more about it, please? Yeah, iControl is WFL's uh, process monitoring system. Uh, it can handle up to 16 process signals with a very high sampling rate. Give me an example of the, of the signals it's actually measuring. Uh, the signals, uh, important signals, are directly captured from the CNC drive control loops. So you can get the information about the cutting forces uh, from there. But uh, the system can also uh, handle signals from external sensors, which are maybe integrated within the machine components or also can be integrated in intelligent smart tools. How easy is it to use this system? Oh, it's quite easy uh, because the system is uh, integrated in the controller. Uh, so this means all the process signals are displayed on the screen, so the operator has a perfect overview about his uh, actual uh, process. Okay, so you've got potentially 16 different signals. It's very yeah. simple to use. What is the benefit of this system? Uh, the benefit is that you have a lot of information about the process, and this uh, results in a very high quality monitoring. You're monitoring up to 16 different signals, yeah. so how will that affect and benefit the component itself? Uh, with the information of these uh, signals, the machine can react on the signals, so this means in a way that when there is an overload, this machine can automatically interrupt the process and do a tool retraction, or the signals can also uh, uh, indicate an excessive tool wear, so this means for the next cut, maybe a sister tool is automatically exchanged. Okay, and not only the, I mean the component itself is obviously a high value component, the boring bar itself is high value. That's got sensors built within that tool? Yes, this uh, intelligent uh, silent tools boring bar from Sandvik uh, has integrated some sensors. Uh, in the head of the boring bar there is a vibration sensor integrated and also a temperature sensor in the damping unit and uh, in the the root or the clamping position of the boring bar, there are strain gauges uh, uh, integrated, so which uh, gives you the information about the force on the boring bar. So this is an intelligent boring bar with a number of different sensors. Yes. I assume not every insert is the same, so when you use, it, use insert the first time, is this an intelligent operation, an intelligent control? Yes, so with this uh, type of tool, so a good strategy is uh, to uh, go into the learning mode with eye control. When you have a new insert for the first few millimeters uh, of cutting, and uh, from let's say from the load uh, signal, you can uh, set a certain process limit. Within the, the few millimeters, you have the information uh, about uh, the cutting force and then you can do with a little extra uh, a, a set a limit and during the whole process the machine automatically detects an overload. Right, so it's initially learning and then you just leave it to monitor and make sure the component and tooling is not getting damaged? Yes. Okay, but it's not just about the component or the tooling, it's about the machine as well? Yes, the system is designed for protecting the tool, the component, and the machine. Okay, and one final thing, it's not just, I mean, we've got the boring bar here, there's other intelligent tooling as well, an example being from the shunk. Yes, so uh, we have here also on, a, on another machine, uh, uh, sensored tools, uh, but uh, this is uh, at the moment a research project together with the Technical University in Vienna. So they have a brief insight into eye control, taking the controlling of these machines to the next level, ensuring machine stability, component stability, and tooling stability.